think Derek thought I'll skip it was entertained again, so I'll start with it, started really well, and then what? Uh, it was entert entertaining, flipping it. it was just, the way some of them goals for both sides have gone in it. More like a circus, so yeah, probably. Well, it was a little bit entertaining, but if, uh, if someone would have offered us two wins against Ashton and, and Workington, you know, with eight goals in it, uh, would, have, would have absolutely ripped your arm off. You know, it's, it's two two massive results, two massive results in terms of where we want to be, what we want to get to, and to, and to beat two sides who are trying to do the same as us. Um, is, is, is huge for us. You know, it's, it gives the lads a massive lift. Um, and, and, and to be pegged back again after throwing away a 2-0 lead um, and to, you know, to sort of get, get the goals in the second half was uh, also pleasing because obviously when we've, when we've led in the past couple of weeks against Darlow twice and, and dropped, obviously we didn't hold on. So, so to do that today and, and also push on and get more goals was, was also pleasing. What did you say at half-time because I'm actually going to best piece. No, no, I think I've popped a few blood vessels, if I'm honest with you, um, because we tried to iron out one or two things. Um, I had, had a proper chat with the boys, you know, I said to me, you know, despite the result against um, Dialo, I thought the back five were brilliant, absolutely superb, you know, none of them had any sort of fault for any of the goals. Um, and then, you know, against Ashton again, stood strong on Saturday, fantastic defensive display, but I thought um, the first half it was, it was like uh, a car crash at times, um, people switching off. And, and, but I, I also get the fact that it's, it's really deep into the season. Players have played a hell of a lot of games. It's a night game. Lads have worked. Lads have, have done twelve-hour shifts. Um, and grafted, you know, during the day, and then come here and play third in the, in the table. You know, who, who caused us some problems. So I, I accept that. You know, there's reasons perhaps behind what happened. But at the same time, you know, there was uh, elementary mistakes that that. You know, we, we, we hope to iron out. Just think, allow all of those in the back. Your captain, Chris Lynch, is also turning into your top goal scorer at the moment. The way he's going, Are you he's pleased. A, well, <laughs> I'm delighted for him because because he's a brave he's a brave lad. And what I mean by that is, he, you know, you see the way he plays defensively. But you know, in recent weeks, we've asked we've asked the lads, we've asked Alcy, we've we've asked um, Lynch to to be more aggressive in the opposition's box, and he's he, 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 he's pumped <laughs> over a hat trick. Um, <laughs> And getting on the end of things, and, and as I say, you know the lads deserved it. You know, he, he's uh, been Mr. Consistent this season, and, and he's starting to get his, his rewards at the other end for it as well. But it is a vital, vital three points. I mean, that's three for them. We're still in second. I know they've got a game in hand, but what sort of boost is that going to give the lads? Uh, we, we we had a chat, me and Bernie. We said, you know, it's in our hands to to, to stay second place. Um, I know sides can go above us, but until them sides start playing the games in hand, it's up to us to to, to stay in second place. If we end up drop into wherever in the table because everybody wins their games on, on possible points then then so be it. I know that can't happen because your Barwells play Ashton on Saturday and, and everyone's got to play each other coming coming up. We we've got through that, that, that run of fixtures where we play the top um, six, where we've played Stourbridge, Blythe, Dialo twice, Work International, we played them all. Um, so we've come through that. Everyone else has got to play each other now. But, you know, so, so so the legal start to take shape a little bit more. Um, but we, you know, we just want to hold on to that second place for as long as we can and keep putting pressure on Blythe. And just finally, this time last year we went on a nine-match winning run. We're on two, we've got ten left. Can we do it again? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, and if I can do that, not just us in the league. It's all about mindset, focus. We've, as I said, we we had a bit of a, a blip against uh, Darlow, you know, over a couple of games and Ilkeston away. Um, but we're starting to get players back. You know, we've not used any excuse at any point, but we're starting to get lads back. And unfortunately, Poole is cramped up at half time, but he's still getting fit. Uh, Scott Burton's back, was on the bench tonight. Tunji Moses has, has come off the bench for the last two games. Dawson um, could have been involved tonight, potentially. Um, so we've got a clean bill of health. Um, and, and it's something we've not had probably since December. So we're starting to get players back. We've got no bands, such wood as any wood about, no, no bands coming up or, or on the horizon. Um, so, so we're quite confident now with that, with that group of players, you know, 18, 17, 18 players that we can we can get on a good run. Um, but we've got to, we've got to, you know, when we play a game on, on Saturday, Hills on Tuesday, um, Sutton the, the following Saturday, we've got to uh, prepare the exact same as we, we have done for the for the last two games against Ashton and Workington and, and treat them all as cup finals.